Hello everyone, this is Sharon from Learning the Lyre Harp and I just got a question about what to do when your strings are not keeping in tune because the tuning pegs are a bit loose. So I do have a new lyre here um, that's that I bought and it was bought you so by the time it got to me I think it's gone through quite a bit of <laughs> traveling and a tough time uh, getting to me. So as a result of that, um, it's barely, barely any of the strings are holding tune. So I have gone ahead and um, fixed most of the strings, but I found out that my F string, F string right here is still loose and it's not keeping in tune. So that is probably because of a loose tuning peg. So I'm just going to show you an example of what I'm finding. So I have my my uh, snark tuner here and when I pluck my F string, it keeps giving me E or very low F and I would tune it get it to tune to F and get to it and then all of a sudden it will drop back down to where it was again and it's just not staying in tune. Now if it if, if it's just a matter of the string stretching, I've had this for um, a few days now, it should stay relatively around that note but it's not doing that at all so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take off the string and fix the tuning peg and tighten it. So what I'm going to need for this um, little bit of a project is a bit of wood glue. This is what I have. You could um, use whatever you have. A bit of sawdust. Um, I collected this for my, for my son because I'm not a carpenter. I don't usually have a sawdust lying around. And a bit of toothpick. And I need to take away the fuzzy part because I need it to be able to go inside the hole. So, and you will also need your tuning wrench because you need to loosen the string. So what I'm going to go ahead is loosen the string all the way to the point where I can go ahead and remove the string very gently because I don't want to break the string. Um, because I bought this liar used, I do not have any spare strings, so I want to make sure that I be gentle as I take it out and not wreck the strings at all. So I'm just going to give it all I'm doing and hopefully I can pop this out and give it to me. I almost got it and then I just set that aside. Now I'm going to go ahead and keep turning counterclockwise until that pin is all the way out. And this is a very easy thing to do. Um, it's not hard at all. This is um, the first few times I've, this is the first liar where, where I've had to do this. I was very lucky with my first two purchases, I've not had to do this. They both keep in tune very well, but this one don't. And I think I've already fixed. This is a 24 liar string. And so far, this is the 15th string that I am fixing. I keep giving it more time to settle because, you know, I didn't really want to have to do this if it's just um, if it just needs to be settled. So what I did there, if you see what I did, is I just dipped the tip of it into the glue, took away some of the excess because I don't want it to be dripping. I only need a little bit. Okay. Now that I have that, I am going to put it right inside the hole, and I'm being careful I don't get it too much on the outside. And I'm going into into the hole all the way in and I'm just swirling it around to make sure I get a good a good amount of glue in there again you don't want this to be dripping you just want a little bit of glue all the way to the bottom and I'm gonna go ahead and take some sawdust now there's a bit of I want the fine sawdust I don't want the um the very bits like the, the big bits. I just want the fine sawdust and I'm gonna go ahead and drop some in there 
and I'm gonna take my Q-tip my Q -tip again and just make sure that I actually got some in there. The sawdust will make it so that um, the hole gets filled in a little bit more and um, that means there's gonna be more, more grip for the actual tuning pin. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the tuning pin in. I'm giving it a little bit of a turn and now I'm gonna go ahead and Put the tuning pin back in up to the point just down to the point where I can put the string back on so that it's even with the other tuning peg allowing a little bit of room because I do need to have the string in there first before I tighten it completely so I think I'm just about there there we go and then I'm going to go ahead and put my string back on. And as you can see, I'm holding on to it a little bit and I'm guiding the string as I'm turning, turning it. And now I'm turning it clockwise. And I'm guiding where the string is going because I do not want it to punch up. Because if it punches up too much or it touches the bits of... Um, the bit of wire that's sticking out from the hole it's gonna create a buzz and I don't want buzzing I want to prevent that so the, the more I guide the string so that it's not touching that little bit that you normally sticks out the better it is for me because that will make sure that I have no buzzing so as you can see um, I made a little bit of mistake I didn't put the tuning peg down enough, so it's sticking up a little bit. I want my liar strings to be even, so when I play it, there's no strings that are too high up. I want them to be even, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that string again. And I'm going to go lower, lower it down a bit more, so that when I put the string in, it will be the same the same um, spacing the same distance as the other string so that I don't want this string to stick up a, too high like higher than all the other strings so I'm gonna go ahead and try and put it back on I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna turn it clockwise and guide the string as I'm moving it so that it's below that little bit and not above it. And just, just be gentle with yourself, be patient. You might make a little bit of mistakes at first, but you know, that's how we learn. So I'm going to go ahead and now that it's there, I'm going to stop here. I'm not going to tune it all the way completely because I want this to settle. And once it's settled, you know, give it until tomorrow. That's what I'm going to do. Um, and then I will go ahead and tune the string to up to the pitch and see how it works. So I'll be back tomorrow.